Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. I've got what I think is gonna be an informative video today and it comes directly from one of your comments. Not too long ago I got a comment from one of, one of my subscribers that said, you know, what's the difference between all the different colors of noise? You've got white noise, pink noise, blue noise. What does all of that mean? That is a great question. And you know what? I have the perfect tool to illustrate it. It's right here. This is called the Quantum Rainbow from Steady State Fate. And I'm not sure how well you can see that on the screen, but there's a jack for white, pink, red, etc. All the different colors of noise just right down. This is a fully analog module, so no digital signal generation here. It's real analog noise, real filtering going on here. But the best way to understand it is to see it and hear it. So over here, I've got the digital audio workstation and I've got the um, spectrum analyzer up. So I'm going to send them through so you can see the noise. And then over here, I've got the modular synthesizer. So I'm gonna install this in the modular so you know it gets power and everything. And then I'll route that signal over to the digital audio workstation so you can both hear it and see it. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll know the difference between the different types of noise. Okay, folks, so I've got the noise module mounted right here, and then I'll put the spectrum analyzer on the screen over here, and this cable that I have right here goes over to the digital audio workstation so we can actually see and hear this. So let's start with white noise at the top, and I'll go ahead and plug this in. And now at this point, you should be able to see and hear the white noise. And what you kind of notice if you look at the spectrum analyzer is that white noise has a very sort of equal intensity of frequencies, meaning the low frequencies, the mid-range frequencies, the high frequencies, they're all about the same intensity. It's just basically all the frequencies at once. And it's rather random. If you look at it, you don't see any like repeating sine waves or anything. It's just random because that's how noise works. But the main thing to notice with the white noise is we see basically about the same amount of low, medium, and high frequencies. So let's go to pink noise. And what we'll notice here when we change to pink noise, we'll notice that immediately we see a lot of boost or a little bit of boost in the low frequencies and more of a cut in the high frequencies where the mid range is still saying about the same. So basically here we've got like pronounced lows, uh, muted highs and the mid still in about the same as the white noise. So kind of adding some filtering to that. Now let's move down to the red noise, the next one here. So if we go to red noise, what we notice there is it's very similar to the pink noise, but just a little bit more dramatic. So we're seeing almost no high end frequencies. The mids are a little bit more muted and the bass frequencies are still pretty strong. And so we can see and hear that, that basically we're kind of taking the white noise and sort of filtering it in such a way that the bass frequencies get stronger, the treble frequencies get weaker. And then from pink to red, we just intensify that effect a little bit. Okay, so now let's go up to gray noise. And this one is really one of my favorites because when you get to gray noise here, you notice there's sort of a mid-range scoop. What you see is you've got some very strong low frequencies. You see a kind of dip in the mid-range and then it comes back up towards the treble end. Um, so you should be able to see and hear that. But basically you've got the high and the low frequencies and sort of a muted treble, or excuse me, a muted mid-range. So um, that's kind of how, how gray noise works. Now let's go down to blue and here what you're gonna see is almost the complete opposite of what we saw with the pink and the red noise, is now we've got virtually no low frequencies. We're a little bit more muted in the mid-range frequencies, but we've got good, strong treble frequencies. So that's sort of how our blue noise works. And if we go up to our purple noise here, or violet noise as it's often called, it's just a little bit more dramatic than the blue noise, so same kind of a thing, but you know, more of the mid-range and, and low frequencies muted. So kind of similar to what we saw between the uh, pink and the red, it's kind of similar between the blue and the purple, just kind of a more extreme version of that particular type of noise. So there you have it. Those are your colors of noise, and hopefully you learned something from this video.